Yeah. Well, this is a very general the question you asked. Is that actually, I think everyone agree. China is a rising power. U.S. Is a status power. So the U.S. definitely want to prevent China from catching up with the U.S. in terms of in terms of a national comprehensive strength. But uh, actually, if you come to the trade war at this moment, from my understanding, not only regard to the comp the gap, uh, reduce the gap of the national strength, but uh, mainly focus on the technology gap. And uh, for instance, and the early period, people believe the trade war uh, uh, initiated by the Trump administration target at the China's uh, market and try to uh, rebalance the trade surplus. But now people realize that no, that's a very superficial. And the purpose of the trade war initiated by the Trump administration actually try to prevent China from gaining technology superiority over the United States. That's why and the uh, uh, Trump administration used all efforts to try to block Huawei's 5G. And yesterday, and I just read the um, uh, Pentagon's report about 5G, and very clear said that China has already have an advantage over the U.S. in terms of 5G. And uh, South Korea is uh, quite uh, 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 strong in terms of 5G. And so they said U.S. already lagged behind behind the China, so they said we have to prevent China from getting more superiority. We, and certainly they said why the 5G is so important to US. Oh yeah, that, that's a Pentagon report uh, telling about uh, how the 5G uh, closely related to the national wealth, economic growth, and uh, America's security and defense security, and especially for the uh, new uh, military strategy. And so I think that report gave a comprehensive uh, uh, explanation why Trump administration had to use all efforts, even at a high cost of U.S. business, uh, U.S. economic interests, to, uh, uh, to contain China's 5G technology. Well, I think that at this moment, China already First, uh, increase the uh, uh, tariff uh, on uh, some Americans' uh, uh, export to China. Certainly, it's not an American libel uh, because uh, uh, American imports more uh, uh, products from China than we uh, than we do. Uh, we do. So, uh, certainly, we uh, uh, in uh, increase the tax only for about six billion, and U.S. increase the tariff on the uh, 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 20, uh, uh, 20 billion. So this is uh, different. Uh, uh, no, 200 billion. U.S. increased the tariff on 200 billion of the Chinese uh, uh, products. We increased the uh, six, uh, 60 billion uh, on the uh, uh, yeah 60 billion on the uh, U.S. products. And uh, actually, I think the the other retailing issue and a very possible is about technology. And you you take uh, all kinds of efforts to block Huawei, to contain Huawei, and China is forced to take some action. Okay, and first I have to say, and the China's uh, uh, principle of uh, is a firm policy is a non-alignment uh, principle. That means that China will not uh, make an alliance with anyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my opinion is a minority in China, and definitely this uh, uh, idea are not accepted by the Chinese government. And even among the scholars, I think uh, most of scholars do not agree with me. They think uh, making alliance is not a right uh, uh, strategy for China. And uh, even U.S. foreign policy heavily rely on the allies. So that's it. That is uh, one, uh, uh, one thing. The other thing uh, I think is more important that to explain why I concerned to make an alliance with uh, uh, South Korea is uh, possible because, and you can find the Thailand, uh, Pakistan, they all make a, 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 a no, uh, the, the Pakistan. And once actually, even today, and the Pakistan is the uh, alliance of the United States, but the meanwhile have a very substantial 
and uh, our military relationship with China. So that's what I'm concerning. And if China can make an alliance with South Korea, and South Korea will maintain the balance between China and the U.S., and this kind of a balance not only helpful for the uh, South Korea, but also it's uh, useful for uh, uh, contain the uh, uh, North Korea's uh, uh, military capability. So if China and South Korea make a, uh, make an alliance, I think uh, the regional peace on the peninsula, peninsula uh, uh, Korean Peninsula will become more uh, stable. Well, I think there's already a lot of track to dialogue between China and uh, South Korea. And once I also uh, joined this uh, 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 bilateral uh, track to dialogue and uh, on the security issues. Mm -hmm. And actually from my understanding, the track to dialogue only help to create ideas. The important thing is that whether these ideas or suggestions can be accepted by the governments if the, the government do not accept these ideas, these ideas uh, cannot turn into policy in meaningless. So from my understanding at this moment, I think uh, the scholars of these two countries and, uh, should not give that much emphasis on this uh, track to dialogue, but I think the scholars at uh, the uh, two sides try to create new thinking about the situation in this region, create new ideas, and. Uh, Represent, uh, uh, suggest uh, new proposals for the two governments. No matter if it comes from the, uh, by, uh, the, the, the track to dialogue or not, anywhere it's, it's uh, practical, it's uh, uh, Im uh, implementable, and uh, they will be accepted by the government. That will work. I just uh, uh, attended a panel here uh, about denuclearization of the uh, uh, Korean Peninsula. Actually, from my understanding, the question uh, should be asked in that way. In what way the North Korea will agree to dismantle their nuclear weapons? From my understanding, there are only under two different conditions, and uh, it's possible for North Korea to accept this idea to denuclearize uh, their weapons. First, they are forced to. They have no other choice. Second is that they like to because they find that there are uh, some more uh, larger profits they can benefit from dismantle their nuclear weapons. But at this moment, I, I cannot see these two conditions. And the first, and uh, I don't think the whole world and the use of collective efforts can force North Korea to abandon their nuclear weapons because the North Korea's uh, government, the existence of the government rests on, on the nuclear weapons. And they worry about the U.S. Uh, military attack. So they believe and only the nuclear weapons can prevent the United States from military attacking against the North Korea. So that's why. They, uh, I don't think they, uh, anyone can force them to give up. Second, and uh, the question is the, the nuclear policy is not decided by people. Nuclear strategy is, is decided by policymakers, by national leaders, right? So that means that we have to ask the question, how can the North Korean's national leaders view the profits of a nuclear weapons they possess? Can they see anything is a big, even bigger profits than that? For my understanding, I doubt. I don't think they, they view anything is more important to them than nuclear weapons at this moment. So from my understanding, at this moment, the uh, pragmatic way is to encourage the U.S. to have dialogue with uh, North Korea and try to in, uh, make, make North Korea's uh, policymakers to, to see more profits from abandoning nuclear weapons.
I think yesterday I, uh, I gave uh, two uh, proposals. And first, I think the digital forum should have a more uh, uh, a clear uh, uh, what, uh, identification for the forum. That means uh, uh, the specialty. Try to make the world for the, especially for the people in uh, East Asia, to know the specialty, how special this forum. So I, I think this digital uh, forum should make it different from Shangri-La, from the Boao, from the, the uh, other regional forums. And if there's a special characteristic and, uh, of the digital uh, forum, it will get more people's attention and get more uh, participants. Second, for my understanding, the, that's my second suggestion. I think the digital forum should give us some concern or some uh, um, a priority to the digital economy. Digital economy becomes uh, so important recently, it becomes uh, more important in the future. And the digital economy has already accounted for over 60% of the US GDP, 50% of the Japan, and 30% of the China's GDP, and uh, South Korea is uh, 45 or something like that. So when the digital economy becomes uh, the most important uh, source of national wealth, and the major part, the, the regional security will heavily rely on this uh, sector. And uh, actually, the digital economy mainly decided by what? By the te uh, uh, technical communication technology. That's why China and the US have a strict confrontation on the uh, Huawei's 5G technology. South Korea has a, a, a some advantage in terms of uh, telecommunication uh, technology. That's why I think uh, the digital forum should take advantage of that. I think this is uh, uh, really important. And uh, my understanding, the competition among the major powers will be more and more focused on, uh, on, the, uh, on, uh, on the rivalry in the various world. That means uh, on the dig digital economy. And so if uh, the digital forum organize more discussions on this issue, my understanding, it becomes uh, uh, quite attractive. Well, actually, I think the theme is okay and uh, heavily focused on Asia. And because Asia will be the center of the world, the world center is shifting from Europe to East Asia. So the digital forum uh, heavily focused on the uh, uh, Asia, I think is a good idea. But then you need a special uh, 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 discussions. And um, for instance, talking about the 5G invention in this region and talking about digital economy in East Asia. You know, actually China, Japan, and uh, uh, South Korea, these three countries are processed uh, the 50% of the 5G, uh, 5G technology in the world. So the whole world put together, they share the another 50%. So there's a lot of advantages of this region. There's a lot of special issues for this region. And not only North Korea's nuclear weapons, there's many, many special things and happening in this region. So if uh, uh, digital forum heavily focus on these special issues in East, uh, in East Asia, my understanding and the digital form will be become very uh, attractive.